What's up YouTube? So in today's video I'm going to be taking you through a few back, back exercises that I've been doing over the summer. Um, it's just helped me define my back a little bit more and uh, get it a little bit more cut in these past two, two months, two or three months that I've uh, been here for summer. And they're exercises that I, I enjoy doing that I feel I can feel a really good squeeze. I know the back, I think the back is one of the most, uh, is one of the hardest uh, body parts on any on anybody to to help build mass, to help shape, to help uh, define it. Just because it's a it's a muscle you can't see when you're rowing, when you're lat pulling. I mean, you don't you don't get to look at um, your muscles actually engage it in the workout as if you were doing like a bicep curl or um, triceps, chest, uh, just those like those those different exercises. So I know like the back is hard. You you really got to have a really good mind muscle connection when you're when you're really working working your back working out your back and doing exercises so um, these exercises might help you uh, feel uh, a, a pinch or a squeeze in your back uh, rather than other I mean uh, uh, you're always gonna feel you should always feel the squeeze you should always feel the pinch but I really hope these can help you um, concentrate greater on the on your muscles working, on your muscles contracting. These, there's like a few that uh, I use different equipment or I'm doing a different, uh, like a different version of an exercise, a different version of a row and stuff. So, but I mean, you could, you could try it. You should try it. You should always switch up your uh, back. So your back, um, your, your hand placements. Uh, I think the best way to get the best defined back is uh, hitting it from as many angles as you can. And so, um, for my back days, I've been really over the summer. I'll show you a picture here right now. But um, I helped define my back best by hitting as many angles as I can through my uh, whole entire back workout. So I don't really concentrate on just uh, underhand rows. I'll go I'll go wider underhand rows, overhand rows, and then with the closer underhand rows, you really just gotta switch your grip up go to a new, neutral grip go to underhand go to overhand go wide go close it's just you got to hit the back as is um, and as many angles as you can just because there's so many muscles in your back that uh and, and I over the summer I researched the back I uh, I try to learn every muscle in the back I try to st I study the back to, uh, over the summer just so I could uh, I mean, the, the more you know about your back, the more you know, the more muscles you know about in your bicep or in your tricep or chest, or your legs. I think uh, it's it's a little bit easier for you to um, really concentrate and know what what muscles you're hitting doing those workouts. So, I suggest y'all go. Uh, I mean, buy a textbook or um, research online and just watch YouTube videos, maybe of people explaining the different muscles, the different. Um, the different kinds of muscles, the just everything, everything about uh, just your the human anatomy, and uh, I think it's something uh, y'all should all try. Y'all should all learn, and it's just helpful. I mean, you're going to be doing this is a long journey. Bodybuilding is a long journey, and so why not have the most knowledge of it while you're doing it? And uh, I think that's the best way to be successful at doing whatever you're doing is just having the most knowledge and um, just teaching yourself, going, reading something. Um, learning about something and then taking it into the gym and then doing it yourself and actually being able to see um, or feel uh, those certain muscles work in the section in a certain exercise so I think that's something y'all should all try but um yeah so these exercises they might they, they should help you I mean these exercises that I've been doing um, I, I don't do the same back exercises every single back day just because I like to, uh, I mean, I like to switch up my exercises every single uh, workout um, throughout the week. So I'm not doing the same thing every week. I like to switch it up. And yeah, I mean, that's something y'all need to try. Get away from the wide uh, lap pulls. Go go uh, close lap pulls underhand or go overhand lap pulls. Um, I think that's just something that, that you should just try. And uh, I think it's the best way for you to define your back. So y'all just stay tuned for this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all learn something, and um, I will see y'all in the weight room. All right guys, so first exercise is a superset. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, this neutral grip bar. 
and um, you know you're not you're, you're you're getting away from that just like the overhand and underhand uh, grip. You're getting this neutral grip right here, and I like this a little bit more just because um, when you when you pull down you can you can squeeze it a little bit better than, than right here. I, I just I just feel like I can I can get the, like a lower squeeze on my lats and I just feel it a little bit better. But I'll show you uh, what it looks like. I'll show you how it First set too, so. Okay, so that exercise is going to be a superset. So um, I usually superset this with a rope, the lat pull, lat pull downs with the rope, and um, this next, this next row that I'm going to be doing is a. Uh, it's on the row machine. Damn it. Okay. It's on the row machine and it's a. Uh, it is a um, rope rope row. So we're gonna be using these instead of like a uh, a, a handle or a uh, a little triangle uh, row thing. Sorry, I'm still out of breath. But so here, let me just show you. I mean, you want to go light here because uh, last time I did them. It was real tough holding on to the, uh, sorry if it's not on me, but it was real tough holding on to the rope and, and it starts hurting your fingers. So you want to go lightweight here. Whenever you do, want to go light on the back. And so go lightweight here and I'd say go like 14 to 15. I know it's a random number, but 14 to 15 here. And uh, you, I like this because you, you got the rope and, you, and you're getting, you're getting, you can, you can pull it back a little bit closer than if you're just going coming straight to your chest like right here with the row and you're getting that like foot that extra uh, range of motion and you can you can really like pull your elbows to the back and, and really uh, feel the squeeze in your back so here I'll show you what it kind of looks like uh, maybe not come on dang it okay hope it stays right way Lighter weight. And let it, let it pull you. Uh, let it pull your back uh, almost to the uh, to the, the machine because this rope is a little bit longer. And um, you're getting that extra rope length in it, so you're not getting that full stretch. So, I mean, kind of take it all the way to the machine whenever it pulls you back. But. So that's how you want to do it. You want to just get that fuller, uh, that row, and squeeze your middle back a little bit more on this exercise. But I've also haven't been like counting my my rep ranges. Um, I usually just go till I feel the burn or feel like uh, feel my feel my muscles like really engage into the exercise. And then once I get that full like engagement of, of that body part, uh, I just keep going till. So uh, I, I feel like I got the most out of that set. So I quit like kind of just counting my exercises. I go till till I feel uh, I got the best out of the set. So, but um, yeah. So the next one we're gonna be going to a uh, 
It's a weird, it's weird kind of just setting it up, but here, I'll show y'all. Stay tuned. All right, so the next movement is a, uh, it's a lion dumbbell row. And uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to set up at first. You just gotta get an incline. And uh, just so you, just, if, if, if you're doing it like lying down on the bench, reverse, I mean, you're not gonna have enough room to get that full stretch in your, uh, in your row. So uh, uh, we kind of just elevate the, elevate the bench. Because it's a bitch now, it's an incline, but um, we're gonna elevate the bitch now so we can get a, a, that full stretch in our, in our, in our back. And so um, I just, I raise the, the back of it up with a, uh, a little uh, scoop of stepper or whatever the, whatever the thing, the box. And um, it's, kind of, it's kind of tough, I mean, making it in the middle of the gym when there's a bunch of people here. But this is a, like an exercise I like to do when it's kind of empty and um, I have uh, I have all this equipment here available for me. So, I mean, you don't have to do it every single time, but this is a, a really good uh, rowing movement that you can do. And I'll show you how to get on the thighs to get on. I also set the dumbbells here just, if I don't have a spotter, if I'm by, if I'm by myself, I can have someone uh, I can have someone hand me the weights, but if not, I kind of elevate them just so I can, I can uh, reach down and get them. Hopefully you can see me. Alright, cool. Alright, alright. I like to go, this, this is like one of my heaviest uh, row movements too, so. It really just takes the breath out of you if you don't uh, if you're using heavy weight. Um, but what you want, you're gonna you'll feel it in your middle back um, if you're if you're pulling high enough and if you're squeezing squeezing hard enough. But you'll feel it in your in your middle back, and you really want to just uh, pull with, uh, try to pull your elbows back as far as you can. And if it's, if you can't pull them back far enough to feel your middle back squeeze, then you need to lower uh, lower the weight down and get some get some weight you can really like feel the squeeze. But um, yeah, this is another uh, row movement I like to do. 